All right, so half guard position, half guard. And then we are going to start with that warm up, always with the underhook. All right, so that's really important. And then I've been really focused on the focus right here. All right, so remember four steps, okay? Control the biceps, get the underhook. I am on my side. And then I have the half bar locked. All right, so those, that's the position that I always want to start. It's not gonna be like that. All right, so because he's gonna try to put pressure, he's gonna try to get the cross face, but this is the ideal. So from here, I can start to work. So right now we're just gonna, he's gonna get that under hook. And then I'm gonna get that back. Okay, he's gonna get that under hook. And I'm gonna get that back. It's just very easy, very slow. All right, so this is something that I, I have to focus. All right, so I was trying to get that, get under hook. So whatever has this control is a little ahead. All right, even that I have a worse position right here. If I get that under hook, I might try to take it back and try to do a sweep. All right, but if I don't have that underhook and I keep working right here from the half guard position, that is not a lot of things that I can do. So always right there. And then don't worry, don't forget about that. You had to the controlling the biceps, okay? So just one minute, let's go. Okay, time. So let's see what's next now. This is one of my favorite sweeps right here. All right, I really like to do this one. And I think we, okay, so once I get the, the half part position right here and I have my underhook right there. All right, so sometimes, well, sometimes, you know, the person uh, on, on top right here, instead to keep his knee close to my, to my hips, close to my chest, under my arm right here, he's gonna open up. So he has a, that's the position right here. So the knees open and then what happened? If I look between his legs and I see his foot, I can go and grab the foot right there. So let's move a little. All right, so that's the position. And then I see that these knees open and then I can go right here and get a grip. And then you see my hand right here, my hand is facing up, palm facing up, and then I catch the grip. My hand, I cannot go right here facing down and get this grip. If I get the grip right here and he tries to straight his leg back, he might break my grip, all right? But if I get my grip right here and he tries to, and then he tries to put his leg back, it's harder for him, harder for him. All right, so that's the first step. Once I get this, all right, so now I need to use my left, you see my, the, the, the arm that I have under, under his arm. I need to grab his foot too. But look at how far, and then, and, and, and look at how, how far is my hand from one hand from another? All right, so trying to put my hands together, that's not gonna happen, all right? So the way here to do is to open the half bar. So now I'm locking his, the half bar with my bottom leg, always. All right, I cannot work right here with my legs open, okay? So I'm gonna hip out. All right, I'm gonna free a little bit. I'm gonna handle my leg again. And then I go and I control his foot right there. So now I have two hands on his foot. And then let go and then start over, all right? So here we need to get used to, to get that under hook. All right, so I want the person on top to start with that under hook. So I go right here. One, 
control that foot to sit up and control the foot. Two hands, one on the shin and one on the on his foot. All right. Let's start. Let's do that. Get your partner. Okay, guys, time. So now let's see here. So how it's gonna be the switch? All right, so if I get to that point, the sweep is easy, very easy. All right, so what I want to do here, see, starting from the half guard, he has that under hook. So I'm gonna recover, I'm gonna get one. Sometimes I even push his knee, push the knee right there, and then I can get that foot. That's easier to get that the shin. All right, open, hook the, the leg, his leg with my bottom leg. This is a pendulum, but remember, I don't want to free my head right now. I need to keep my head on the inside right here. I'm gonna control. I have good control of his foot. I'm gonna post. So now I'm gonna use my shoulder. I'm gonna push him down. Right there. I wanna stay as close as I can from the ground, from the mat. So I don't want my head up. So I'm pushing him down. I get to, I get down and then I have my options to pass the guard. So here I can pass to the right, I can pass to the left. It's gonna depend what the person on bottom is going to do. If he's gonna defend one side, you pass to the other. If he defends to the left, you pass to the right. All right, but if you if I do if I do here by if I do by myself right here I get one, I get two right here. Hook the leg with the inside the bottom leg right here, and remember that every time that I hook his leg is not to leave my foot on top of his leg. So actually, I, I want to have my toes on the mat right here because I want to trap that leg. All right, so I'm using this leg right here as a pendulum. And then I go, see my arm is not gonna go right there. So my arm has to go here, one and two. I get the grip. I don't need this anymore. This is, I'm gonna post. If I keep my elbow forward, it's hard for me to push. So I put my elbow back, all right, my leg back. And then I push him down. So I'm not gonna stand up right here. So let me do one more time right here with Victor. Oh, get the half part right here. Drop down their hook, push the knee out, control that, that shin. I'm gonna start to go, grab, elbow back, leg back, push, get on top. Do this way. All right, let's go guys, let's go. Bottom mask, right? 